Right, welcome to SoFlow TV again everybody, it's your host with the most. So this is another immigration video, but this video is about hiring an immigration attorney. Now, I've done a couple of immigration videos uh, in recent time, given all the changes that have been happening in under this new Donald Trump administration and his drive to get people out of the country, as well as to stop people from coming in and also to what he calls it, to protect the public. So, a lot of people have been under the gun, so to speak, lately. And believe it or not, when I do these immigration videos, people call me as if, don't worry, I'm not going to say your name to the public, but people call me as if I am an immigration attorney. And sometimes, I can't blame them, they call me to ask, so Flo, um, do you know of any reputable immigration attorneys? And rightfully so, because you can easily get tricked and lose a whole lot of money. There are people out there that are scamming people who are in desperate need of a good immigration attorney. Could you imagine how devastating it could be for someone who could have been saved from, say, a deportation, but because they were scammed? by someone who did not know what they were doing but pretended to know what they were doing, now your loved one is no longer here with your family but exiled to some place that they probably have never been since they were babies. Right? These things can happen. So the question today is, is hiring an immigration lawyer worth it? Okay, so this is written out and I'm going to read it to you. Anytime you deal with legal issues, stress piles on before you even file anything. As a wise person myself, sometimes I fall victim to believing that I can do things by myself. Even though I filed for DACA myself and my DACA renewal some help from, with some help from an organization, when it comes to filing for naturalization, or when it came to filing for naturalization, I chose to hire a lawyer. Hiring an immigration lawyer is another task in itself. But it doesn't have to be stressful. By keeping these five things in mind, you can make your search easier and more efficient. So basically, this is going to tell you how to actually go about vetting and hiring a proper immigration lawyer. A lot of people have no idea where to start. Biggest mistake too is that some people need an immigration lawyer but they're willing to convince themselves that to save a few bucks I can do it myself. Not in this climate. Okay. There are plenty of Yellow Pages lawyers out there who those that pop up in the commercials whether these lawyers are trustworthy really depends on your research and the amount of time and money that you have available. Now we know a lot of people that are immigrants that are in a position needing an attorney. They don't have a whole bunch of money stockpiled and there are lawyers out there that charge hundreds and hundreds of dollars per hour. Okay? Then there are lawyers out there that charge a flat fee and they're really into helping people. But your research is what's going to save you. Now, once we met up with our lawyer, we found out that his wife was a naturalized, therefore knew he is trustworthy and understood the process from a personal level. I think finding someone who knows what's at stake and the level of care your immigration case requires is highly important. Find a lawyer that specializes in family immigration. I don't know, I didn't know this until we began searching for an immigration lawyer, but I am aware now that there is two types of lawyers, maybe more, I don't know. There are business immigration lawyers and then there are family immigration lawyers. Choose a lawyer with a specialty. Even though a business lawyer might be able to help you with your family immigration issues, you want someone with experience and specialty. 
That's like taking your Mercedes Benz to a regular mechanic shop. In order for a mechanic to properly fix a Mercedes Benz, they have to be trained in fixing that specific brand of vehicle because they're built different from regular vehicles. Understand? So it's the same thing here. A business attorney, a business immigration lawyer can handle your family issues, but this is not their field of specialty. That's like asking a chef to give you a haircut. He might be able to give you a good haircut because he might cut hair on the side, but it's not his specialty. You are more likely to get a proper haircut by going to a barber shop to a barber that specializes in haircuts. In my opinion, if a lawyer just takes any case from whoever, there might be a case of low quality services. Almost like going to a general store for shoes when you could just visit an actual shoe store. Again, this all depends on the amount of time and money that you have. Believe it or not, a lawyer saves you time. You might be able to file DACA applications for or for residency and citizenship all by yourself. However, my main argument against this is the time commitment. We all have busy lives and I'd rather spend some, some of those minutes working or dealing with other more pressing present problems than to learn how to file all these applications. A lawyer is going to charge you for their time and it might not be cheaper than if you were to do it yourself but I believe that the time will save you the time that this will save you is very valuable additionally finding the right forms filing them in the right way without inconsistencies and sending them off to the proper designated places can take a large amount of your days. Nowadays, if you haven't heard, there are, say for instance, when people go to file for, say, renewing a green card, they no longer notify you that you made a mistake on your application to renew. What they do is they hold on to the application that has a messed up part in it, and based on that one messed up part, what that one mistake, you can become deportable because them holding on to your application to renew your green card expiring without them issuing a renewed green card would leave you in a place of what's called out of status you'll be stuck with no papers here no legal papers to be here right so you definitely want to hire someone who is skilled in this area with the new immigration guidelines scheduled to take place or have taken place already starting September 2011th of this year, applicants and DACA dreamers alike can expect more scrutiny from Homeland Security. With the right lawyer, you can ensure that all the necessary paperwork is submitted on time and without any mistakes. You can save money by doing this all by yourself yes but if you make a mistake and you get denied for whatever reason you will have to pay the consequences or if you're lucky enough to stay you will have to pay all those fees fees all over again and file all over again in the long run is doing the immigration paperwork yourself going to save you money really though treat your research just like a job interview in your search for the right lawyer, you must treat it like a job interview. This time, you're the one hiring them. However, working with a lawyer can be intimidating, so find someone that is willing to teach you and not sell you anything or promise you things that, you, that don't sound realistic. I'm big on communication. My lawyer is really good at sending me updates and keeping me on the loop without having to ask. The last thing you want to do is to pay a lawyer and never hear from them if things are going south or north. This can be avoided by working with someone who has been in the business for quite a while. 
I'm not saying that someone fresh out of law school can't help you. Just make sure you vet them first and measure how they do business. Remember that you are the one that's paying them and it's your life, your reality that's on the line. At the same time, let them do their job, but ask for a realistic timeline on your case so you can begin to plan and budget for future costs. How much does a lawyer cost? All right. So this is a part where a lot of people get hurt because like I said before, a lot of people don't have a big stash of money put down uh, just waiting to give to a lawyer. And a lot of these lawyers are very, very expensive, ranging from lawyers that charge hundreds of dollars per hour to lawyers that charge just a, fl a plain flat fee for whatever services you um, need. So how much does a lawyer cost? The cost for your case is going to vary on many things including the state in which you live, if you have any run-ins with the law, length of time in the U.S., and how you entered the U.S. Did you hear that? How much does a lawyer cost? The answer starts with this. It is going to vary depending on the state in which you live, if you have had any run-ins with the law, the length of time you've been in the U.S. and how you entered the U.S. So the state in which you live. Different states, different prices. If you have had any run-ins with the law. Now, you know your case is not going to be that simple if you've had run-ins with the law. You're going to need an attorney that can navigate through all the legal issues there first as well. Now you're not just dealing with immigration issues, you're dealing with legal issues, maybe criminal issues, as well as the criminal courts, as well as your immigration issues. And that takes a skilled attorney who is versed in that area. The length of time you've been in the U.S. and how you entered the U.S. So someone that came into the U.S. documented the proper way, but maybe have overstayed their welcome, that is going to be a much different case than someone who snuck in, say, smuggled in across the border, uh, no documentation of how you enter. And the reason for that is Homeland, Se Homeland Security is very, very weary of people that came into the country undocumented. What it looks like to them is, how the hell did you get in here? And the way that you came in, millions more can come. Furthermore, the way that you came in, terrorists, as they say, can get in here and harm us. So how did you come in here? If they're looking at a person that came in through JFK Airport with legal papers and a visa for six months, but the person has been here for two years, that we know how that person got in here, right? So you're going to need an attorney that is versed in that area as well. How you enter the U.S. What, are, what you are filing for. Are you filing for naturalization? Are you fall, filing for residency? Are you filing for DACA? Etc. 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 Each one of these, it's a different packet that requires different things and it's going to cost different prices. All these things are going to determine how easy or how hard, therefore, expensive your case will be. You can read on how much we have paid so far. Some things like renewing for DACA might be easily handled by yourself. However, the more complicated the case, the more costly and complicated the forms become. Much like any business dealings, you may encounter lawyers who will try to prey on your situation and your desperation if you show any. That's why I stress finding a lawyer that is recommended by friends or acquaintances or one whose results you can witness firsthand. There are many things in life in which you can choose to be wise about and save some extra cash. When finding the right immigration lawyer and working with one, in my opinion, there is no room for doing it by yourself. 
It might sound like a great idea to save on the cost of hiring an attorney or an immigration lawyer now, but a mistake can end up costing you more money and more time in the future. Think about that. And here we have Javi who said they paid over $34,000 for their immigration pro, um, process. And yes, it eventually, everything worked out, but that was $34,000 that they probably did not need to spend, right? This article was written at JaviDreamerMoney.com and he is a DACA recipient and has been through the whole immigration process as well. So like, comment, share, subscribe, leave your comment in the comment section below. I hope this was helpful for anyone out there that's thinking they need an attorney or they don't need one and you're probably thinking maybe I need one. Maybe I can do this myself. I hope this helped you to make a wise decision. It's SoFlow TV, man. I'm out of here. Good luck. Peace.